Hi, this is the homework for Lesson 18, Module 5 of Grade 2. Please write your name first. We're using the arrowway and counting on to solve subtraction. So using arrowway and counting on means I'm going to start with the 462 and add my way up to the 700 and then just see what it was that I had to add. So here's a 2 in my 1's place. The first thing I want to do is get rid of my 1's and I'm going to add 8 1's. That's going to make the next 10 which is 470. Then I can see with my 10's it's easier to see I only need 30 more 10's to make the next 100 so I'm going to add 30 more and that gets me to 500 and now the 500 just needs 200 more to make 700. So I'm looking at my the value for my digits 238. And we'll do the same thing for this one here 232. I see a 2 for my 1's place digit, so I need an 8, because that's partners to 10. Still using them all the time. That gets me to 240. Then 40 needs 60 more to make 300. And I need to get all the way to 900, so I need 600 more. And there are my digits kind of right I need 668 so there's my difference solve vertically and draw a place value chart and chips and rename in one step now renaming in one step is just I'll show you what it means when the time when the time comes it, and you'll see because it it's what you have to do a lot of times when there's there's a zero in the tens place for your menu end. So 907 minus 467. So there's a lot of different names for when you have to break up these. We have enough ones. We can just subtract that. 7 minus 7 is 0. But I don't have enough tens. So this one we're not going to worry too much about renaming you know, like um, decomposing unbundling and renaming are all the same thing so for this one we're not gonna have to worry about it though because we have enough ones to begin with so I have to decompose this 10 this hundred I mean and I'm gonna call it 10 tens and it's the same thing as renaming 907 instead I'm calling it 800s 10 tens and seven ones so now we can just look at my tens place. 10 minus 6 is 4, and 8 minus 4 is 4, 440. And draw this with the chip model. Hundreds, tens, ones, 900, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. So now I need to decompose 100. And now I can subtract seven ones, zero left. I can subtract six tens, four left, and I can subtract four hundreds, four hundreds left. Now over here, renaming in one step is going to be a little more meaningful vertically, and, and you'll see what I mean when the time comes. Okay, so 803 minus 667. You can see there's not enough ones, and there's not going to be enough tens either. So um, this is this is what renaming renaming in one step means. Unbundle a seven, uh, unbundle a hundred. Seven hundreds left, and now in what renaming in one step means instead of doing this, which is two, you know, which is two steps. I'm just going to call it 9. 
right? Since I know I'm going to end up with nine anyway, because the only reason I'm decomposing the hundred is so I can make ones. So that's renaming in one step. And now this is 13. Kind of looks like a B, but it's 13. Uh, 13 minus 7 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. And 7 minus 6 is 1. There's 136. And hundreds, we need eight hundreds. I don't have enough room for rows, so I'm going to make columns of five groups. There's 803. And I need to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I can cross out seven ones and six tens, four, five, six, and six hundreds, five, six. I have a hundred left, I have three tens left, and I have these three and those three for six ones, 136. And now we can choose any strategy you want, but we got to explain it. Now this 390 is almost 400, so I'm going to use a compensation strategy. And call it, so add 10 to both numbers, 710 minus 400. There's some easy mental math there. 310. And here's my explanation. Well, drawing the tape diagram actually should go, if I'm going to draw a tape diagram to show this compensation strategy, I would draw it here. Right, this would be the 700, the 310. I mean, 390, oops. That's what I'm trying to find out, the question mark. Explanation is three hundred ninety is almost four hundred and adding ten is easy mental math. And now we have another one, which is choose a strategy and explain. So we're looking at 919 minus 657. Now this one here, uh, 919, 657, there's just no mental strategy that looks like it's going to be a shortcut to just doing it vertically. Uh, drawing the HTO chart is going to be a mess because it's going to be lots of drawing and redrawing and bundling. And I just, even arrowway is going to be kind of messy. There's no really easy mental numbers to work for, work for, for this. Uh, but doing it vertically, I can see that this is going to just give me 9 minus 7 in my 1's place. That's 2. And I just have to unbundle this 100 here to give me 11 tens. And 11 minus 5 is 6. And 8 minus 6 is 2. So I can say here that um, vertical method is Easier than drawing chips. Uh, explain why 300 minus 186 is the same as 299 minus 185. So, but the, uh, probably the easiest way to do this is backwards. Kind of thinking of that this is the same as 
that instead, which goes both ways, right? So let's just draw the 299 first. Because this is really kind of... The idea for this thinking is really that it makes easier vertical math numbers. Which is really kind of a backwards version of a mental strategy. Right, so the 299, if I add 1 to that, now it's 300. And the 185, if I add 1 to that, then that's the same as the 186. And either way, the difference is unchanged. Now the thinking behind this is if you had to solve 300 and I'm explaining this because it's going to come up in the next question. If I had to solve this vertically, you can see it's going to be a bit of a pain because you don't have any tens or ones. So you know you're going to have to do some unbundling and re re renaming, double renaming there. So it's easier if you can add one to both numbers and the difference will stay the same. You can also subtract from both numbers and the difference will stay the same. So if I subtract from 300, I get 299 minus 185. And now I've got, now I don't have to do any uh, renaming or unbundling or decomposing, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1. And it's a lot easier than doing, okay, i got to bundle that 100, and then I have 2 left, and then I have 10 of those, and then I have only 9 left, and now I have 10 of these. And you still end up with 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1. You still end up with the same difference. Uh, but it's a lot easier to do the vertical subtraction. So we're going to use the same simplifying strategy. So that means we're going to subtract 1 from both numbers. There's our menu end, and the 278 is 277. And now I can just subtract those. 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 7 is 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2.